Hi and welcome to today's chess session for you here on YouTube. Thank you YouTube. Thank you for coming and have a look at this um, uh, collection of games. Just I'll keep it short. I've got the clock on. The chess clock is on. But here I have what I've been doing quite a lot on uh, YouTube of recent time is the wee little slogan be like a wasp so here we've got a cute little honeybee on the on the left of your picture and that can be quite good in chess too because you can be like a bee and but um be like a wasp okay so let's get on with today's chess session Here is a position that um, was reached in a game today on uh, Leeches. Now I'm going rook d3, but I dropped it on d2. Okay, and then my opponent took it, but I asked for my move back. Well, my opponent said that's chess. And my opponent's right, so I was about going to resign. I was just about going to resign this, so I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered, it's no point. Just lost it. So I went um, rook d8. Now there's another one, I don't want to put that on d2 as well. And king g6, king f5. I'm using the, the king as a piece because it's very well known that the king is a piece in chess. And so sadly, now white gets um, my king walking into black's position. And here we go, just um, quietly. This will not do. Get in behind. In behind, dog. And here's where my opponent resigned. So that's that um, that happened. But I was going to just resign. Not joking. Now here is, uh, I am, these are two minute and one minute games, by the way. Uh, two minute and one second increments. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Two minute and one minute a move increment. Boy, that would take ages. So this is um, demonstrating, this isn't the best game because, um, I drop the ball a little bit. So I'll just go through these moves reasonably quickly because everyone's seen these moves. i muck this up. Now bishop e4, here I should really probably take the rook, I think. I think I should just take the rook. But I did not take the bishop. Now here, <laughs> believe it or not, I must um, just queen g3 check. I played queen g4, threatening rook g3 check. But I must queen g3 check, or rook g3. <clears throat> so 
so I'm mucking around a wee bit. There, and now I want to start showing you um, the games that I've played that I consider uh, be like a wasp, okay? So this is me with the white pieces. Got some working in the background. Not here though. So this is the, one of the games that, I'm, uh, that I've chosen for you today um, of uh, just being like a wasp. Look at that night. Look at that night. Look at that night. This is quite nice. I get my inspiration from Victor Korchnoi for this game. I think it was Victor Korchnoi. Now, here my opponent wasn't going to play Rook back to F8. But my opponent played Knight D8. Then, what would you play for White? There's a number of um, possibilities here. Actually, I'm, I'm looking at knight d8 and knight ef7 here as well, which looks quite fun. So what would you play here for white now? Now, I'm not saying it's the best move in the world, and here's the engines playing c4, and it's probably a better move than what I played. Okay, so here, what would you play here for white? So we've seen what um, the engine believes is a great move, is C4, and it does look quite good, but I don't like it so much because it opens up black's um, white squared bishop, possibly. So here we've got the move that I played is knight h7 check. No, it's not check, but it's knight h7. And my opponent went king h7. This is a two minute and one minute game, okay? So I'm not giving um, black any chance. Well, I probably am by sacrificing two pieces because now I sacrifice another piece. So I'm actually um, two pieces down, am I? Or am I... Am I three pieces down? Ah, oh, I am at the moment. Now I'm two pieces down. Queen f7, queen g5, four. Now, there will be better moves for black, of course. But this is two minute chess. Knight c6 and f5, but of course. And here's f6, which I now get one of these pieces back. And now here I miss, um, I dropped the ball here. Ha ha ha, I dropped the ball here. What did I miss here? Okay, real simple for what I missed is this move here. And I guaranteed just about that the computer would find it too. Queen h6, yes, guarantee it. And I missed that. So anyway, back to the drawing board, I went FG7, which still looks quite good. Pins and forks and skewers and everything. Queen H6 to H8, threaten mate. So knight G6. Rook G5. Queen G7, it looks quite reasonable now, because black looks like the... Um, finally got out of it. Queen h5 so that the bishop can't move because of rook g6 so here's rook f8 and rook f4 
rook f5, queen f5, rook f8, queen d5, why not, king h7, rook f8, uh, knight f8, queen e4, check, and I believe my opponent um, lost on time here, yes. My opponent lost on time. Now, uh, we're up to the 10 minute mark. And here is this game being like a wasp. This is a wee bit different, a wee bit more my style of pawn pushes. G4, G F5, Bishop there. Now, everyone can find the inspiration of um, Paul Kerry's against Alexander Kotov. Uh, the move next, which is in white's black's face. Bishop h5, and here black could probably just castle, but went bishop g8. Probably the computer would say castle. Hold up, we'll just ask. Knight h5. That's another one I was thinking of too. <laughs> so here we have... Um, Bishop g8. No. So what do I play now? Um, what would you play here? I played here the following move. Okay. e4. Now this is just with the idea of knight d7 and e5. So cd4 probably... Um, the computer would probably give d e4. Knight h5 again. I still quite like this for um, white. Because after this, I would have played e5 here for white. I don't care about the cancel and I don't want to do anything um, to e4. And then we'll turn the engine off. And now we're going to go into the main line, which is this. Knight d7, e5. This is what attracted me most. Um, here is knight h5, fair enough. Queen h5. And now I think that black should play d c3. But black's probably a bit frazzled. wanting to play positional. Wigena is wanting to play positional as well as um, tactically. And here black fought for a moment and then castled. Not very good. Castling is not very good because of the obvious move. What's the obvious move is is e7 so okay castling e7 oh no oh no black's going to lose a rook with um white capturing one of them making it into a queen now um it's sort of not very nice is it And here is where my opponent lost on time. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think it was lost on time. And then one more. Uh, which um, may happen. I might not. What does that say now? I can't read that. Because I don't want to repeat my games again. Uh, yeah. Okay. We've got one more. 
um, with this one. So I'm going to race through this one. This is a national master from USA. Okay, and I am black in this two minute, one second increment. And what I find interesting is black actually ends up in a um, slight disadvantage to that of white, even though I thought that white wasn't looking as good as black at the end. See how this guy plays. As white. And that will be the end of the session. I won't um, string it along any longer. So here we just got a wee little bit of an exchange going on here. Um, Queen d7, rook d7, bishop b7, rook b7. <coughs> I think here black's definitely got the advantage because of the bad bishop. And this is where my opponent ran out of time, fair enough, but um, I thought this was a, a better position for um, black, but um, the computer crafty says, it's an old, says that this is better for white. That's the end of the session. All the best with your chess. Be like a wasp. Be like a wasp. Be like a wasp.